Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today lesson, you will learn how we can perform a static structural analysis of a beam support. This beam support can be downloaded from our video description link. In this simulation tutorial, you will learn how we can apply a fixed support at this end and at this end and also a uniform distributed load of 12,000 Newton on this mid face. You will also create a curvature based mesh with maximum element size of 5 mm and minimum element size of 1 mm. And you will also evaluate factor of safety, stresses as well as deformations due to this loading on this beam support using this SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials. So first of all, download this 3D model and then start a new simulation study. So click on the simulation tab and make a new simulation study. You can give a specific name to your test simulations and ensure that static study is selected. Okay. First of all, assign material that is alloy steel. Go to material and beam is made of AISI 304 steel. Apply close. After that, we will apply the fixtures. So go to fixtures and select fixed geometry. Then select this face as well as this face. So applying fixed geometry conditions that means that six degree of freedoms for all both selected faces are fixed in all directions. Now apply a load of twelve thousand newton. Just select this mid face and load is normal to this selected face. Enter the value of 12,000 Newton here. After that, it's time to create the mesh. Just right click on the mesh and create mesh. And from the mesh parameters, select curvature based mesh and define the maximum element size of mesh is 5 mm and the minimum element size is 1 mm. Okay. Wait until a curvature based mesh is being created in SOLIDWORKS. So you can see that mesh has been generated now. After this, just run your so our solution has been completed now. So first of all, we will evaluate the one major stress value that is 450 megapascal. That is much more than that of the yield strength of the material that is 206 megapascals. If we check the deformations or displacement in y directions. Just this is the overall displacement that occurs at mid span of this beam support, and its value is about 0.36 millimeter. If you want to check the displacement in y directions, just select the y displacement. Okay, so here is the displacement in the y directions. The negative symbol shows that the deformation is in the negative axis of y directions. That is minus 0.36 millimeter. We can also animate this deformation's behavior of this beam support. Similarly, you can check the factor of safety that must be less than one because our stresses developed in this model 
are much more than the material yield strength. Just right click on the words and define factor of safety plot. From here, you can select the failure theories that is maximum one measures stress theory. Okay. So here you can see that the minimum factor of safety is 0.45 that is less than 1. That means your beam bracket is going to fail under this type of the load. I hope you enjoyed this tutorials and please make a practice, practice of this simulation using SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.